I'm Ethan Klein, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the Super Floppy Cube. Now, I'm not going to be needing any methods or, like, algorithms for this, but if you do know how to solve the 3x3, three three, that's fine. You can just... Actually, uh, let's just put this up here, and you can just click that anytime you want to get to the 3x3 three three video and yeah let's just get started because you know I already scrambled my cube up here's just a walkthrough I s make it so that uh, I have you know I I have like one or two of these sticking up. I do something to, you know, uh, like that. Make it like flat. Uh, I solve that and I solve that. And then I just complete it. Simple, right? Now I'll go through the steps of teaching you how to do it. I'm just mixing it up right now. I'll tell you when I'm done. Uh, you can look down here to, to see the time when I'm going to finish. Oh yeah, and you can still click that. Okay, there. I scrambled it. And I think that was 2.23 when I finished. Yeah, 2.23 exactly. Well, not exactly. I think I was a couple milliseconds light. But you get the idea. Okay, so... So, let's just get started. Start just doing this as much as you can until you have at least two left. Like this. Make an empty space for one of them. And then if you do that, this will stick back up. Which will be kind of bad. So, what you're going to do is, if you want to try and solve this one, then move this and then put it, and then put it down. Or if you want to solve this, you can just move this and put it down. So, if you have two, you're getting kind of lucky. So, you need this, like this, and, you know, like that. If it was like this, then... You know, you can do this and then this. But after that, you'll only get one, which is not really lucky. If you ended up with this the first time, then you're really... Well, you can solve it in an easy amount of moves, but you're still not really lucky. So, yeah. So, this is going to be hard. Not hard, but you need to try and find a three by th one by three by one row here, and then uh, move that up like that. Not this; like it needs to be touching this. Not this one either. Not the middle row. You can move the middle row, but no, that's not what you do. You need to make a see this move it up like it's like parallel and then move it over move back down that that completes your goal now you're supposed to try and solve these sides so if you have something like this and this you can just match it up but 
if you have this, you're kind of unlucky. If you do this and do this, it'll, you'll just end up with the same combination again. So you're not really lucky. So what you do here is you spin one of the sides, this one, any kind of side here. Of course you need to spin one of those, except for the middle. You can't spin the middle. You can spin any side except for the middle, and there you go. Move it like this, and then, and then if you have something like this, that's fine. You can just do that and that, and that's salt. Pretty easy. Now, here comes easy. Well, not really easy. If you have four like me, you're not really lucky. If you have three, you're kind of lucky. If you have two, you're luckier. And if you have one, you're really lucky. So how you do this is you move it like this and this turn this as many times as possible and like you need to match it up with the middle and then turn it back and as you can see that solves your floppy uh super floppy cube i was saying floppy cube yeah super floppy that solves your super floppy cube um yeah please subscribe thanks for watching see you at how to do stuff with ethan.com and see you next time bye